the WWE Universe with an electric feeling here tonight. We are sold out and raring to go. I am amped up, pumped up, jacked up, and ready to kick things off. What are we waiting for, fellas? Let's watch some fights. And what a great way to start us off. Ah, oh, yeah, it's go time. We're moments away from pure chaos. The triple threat match is next. Triple threat always means three times the action. Here we go. The phenomenal AJ Styles. When you talk about AJ Styles, the list of accomplishments is seemingly endless. Styles, a true global superstar before arriving in WWE. But since he's been here, AJ Styles has lived up to the moniker, Phenomenal. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the world champion, the Phenomenal. Yeah, it's crazy to think that when AJ Styles made his debut at the Royal Rumble a couple years ago, he wondered if he would even fit into WWE. But obviously he has done more than just fit in. He has excelled at this level. One of the toughest individuals I have ever seen compete in a WWE ring. This young man here is an incredible talent. And his opponent, first, from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 200 pounds, Roderick Strong. You know, Roderick Strong really didn't find much success here in uh, NXT until he joined the Undisputed Era. Yeah, but everything about Roderick Strong is inspiring from his messy upbringing to the way he trains like a machine in the gym. Roderick Strong is a threat to everyone that opposes him in the ring. The Lion of Bulgaria fighting for all of his constituents. Yeah. Rusev Day is a real-life phenomenon, taking the world by storm. It really is a holiday, Byron. It pops up on my calendar on my phone. Okay, so uh, no matter how you feel about this made-up holiday, what it has done is uh, provide virtual jet fuel for the confidence of Rusev, who is more driven than we've ever seen him. Corey, he just said it was made up. Byron, when's your birthday? 
August 20th. Kicking off this triple threat match here. Gentlemen, you can almost literally feel the electricity in the air as we kick off this triple threat match. Have you ever seen a human being tossed like that? triple threat match appear to have escalated quickly on him. And this has all the makings of getting out of hand fast. He better be careful. Ouch. When this guy's on, look out. Damn. While it doesn't have the legacy of Ron SmackDown, WWE Jack is the only WWE program you've seen AJ Styles on before 2016. Oh man, AJ Styles is really feeling the pressure. Oh, the dreaded claw to the shoulder. Oh, man. Michael, that Jack match from 2002 is actually on WWE.com. During the match, Jonathan Coachman mentions how great a prospect AJ Styles was in the early 2000s. Even back then, Coach was smarter than you. And don't forget Styles' opponent. He fought the Hurricane. It was no pushover back then. At that point, Hurricane had more experience, but Styles almost pulled off a win on Jack. What the? Ushiguroshi. He's in control now. And the beautiful technique. Can he score the pin? Look at a steal one there, perhaps. Roddy won't allow this match to end. He's too determined. This is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad. Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. He's looking a little weary here. He needs to find a way to get on the offensive, guys. You have to think he came into this triple threat match with a plan. And I think it's safe to say that he's looking for the win. An easy kick out there. Yeah, this early, no chance. And now Rusev is showing them how they do it in Eastern Europe. It's a Styles class. I knew it was only a matter of time. Can Rusev stay in this after that? Will he be victorious? Not enough to end this one. Yeah, he's not done yet. Oh! The cover. 
Referee barely had time to begin a count there. Not yet. Too early. It's not often that the WWE Championship is incapacitated before a title defense. John Cena and AJ Styles rekindled the rivalry with a renewed enthusiasm for destroying one. Wow, I thought he was a goner. He's getting after it while he has the energy. Smart move. Oshi Garoshi. Can he end it here? Nobody gets up from that, Cole. I think we're about to see it. Death Styles clash. Just when you his shoulders are down. AJ Styles gets the win. Those three superstars laid it all on the line, as we can see right here in these clips. Overall, this match was average at best. But not every match is going to be memorable. In fact, I've almost forgotten it happened already. Some pretty good give and take in this match, as these highlights show. This was one of those matches that had flashes of brilliance, but never quite lived up to all the hype. Good match overall, though. Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. We'll see if the next match lives up to the hype of the first. Plant your butts in those seats and get ready. When we return, it's a battle where the participants will need to know where they are at all times. We have the doom. Taking on an imposing force.
the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 440 pounds, Oh, Carter and Cole Todd E. We're just Bush. moments away from this huge Ooh. tag team match, guys. And I don't think I've ever seen these four superstars more motivated than they appear to be heading into this one, Michael. The eclectic Shinsuke. And their opponent, first, from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. Corey, this man has taken WWE by storm. You're absolutely right. And since WrestleMania, since this, quote, change in attitude from Shinsuke, some people have called it some sort of psychological downward spiral. I think it's been an emotional ascent leading Nakamura straight to the top. Well, that ascent has made Nakamura one of the most dangerous superstars in all of WWE simply because you never know what he's going to do next. Confusing, charismatic, and dangerous as the day is long. And his partner from Japan, weighing in at 130 pounds, Bui. As we get ready for this tag team match, Byron, tell me, who do you like in this one? Come on, Michael, you know I can't answer that. Look at these teams. They both have what it takes to be the most dominant team WWE has seen in quite some time. There's almost no way to confidently pick one over the other. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. Harsh impact. Devastating kick. He's taking some offense. Wow. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. You never want to count a competitor out, but things don't seem to be going in his favor here tonight. I don't know what he has planned out here, but he must be mindful of the referee's count. Uh-oh. Vertical suplex. Nice. He 
He's on the defensive now. Ouch. This tag team match is dangerously close to getting out of control for him. If I'm his partner, I'm furious right now. There's no reason why he shouldn't have made a tag by now. Man, this is as one-sided an affair as you will ever see. If he goes on to lose this match, you have to expect it'll set him back quite a bit. Hooked him up. Everybody that can hear my voice, listen to what I'm about to say. There aren't too many men on this planet who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Shinsuke Nakamura and live to tell about it. Just don't do it. Oh, he's in a bad spot, guys. I wouldn't be surprised if he hightails it through the crowd. Let's you should go with him, Byron. Ooh, what impact. If there's one thing a superstar does not want to do, it's to attempt to match strikes with Shinsuke Nakamura. The King of Strong. Inverted power slam. Wow. The King of Strong style with a massive slam. Shinsuke Nakamura. Here's his moment, Michael. That just echoed throughout this entire arena. You gotta believe this one's over. He knows he's in trouble. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. He looks to be losing a bit of leverage here. No, he breaks out of it. But does he have enough energy left to get back on the offensive? this point, Cole. Whoa! Oh, nasty impact. He looks a bit off his game here. And you have to assume his partner is just itching to get in there right about now. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point. But that can obviously all change here. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duties have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined an incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see that Swiss cyborg and Celtic warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner, and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. I think only a group is. Here he goes. Perhaps a power bomb here, Corey. That certainly seems to be the case. This match might be over, guys. He's lining him up. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Wow. Can he end it here? Quick cover from Shinsuke Nakamura. Two digging deep for a kick out. Gonna take more than that. Incoming.
He's in trouble. He might have it. Man, what a slam. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Two. He's not done fighting yet. Not yet. Oh, no. And a reverse DDT. Here. He needs to weather the storm for any chance of a comeback. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this tag team match. Shinsuke's strong style will still give him a chance in this match. Yeah, but not a very good chance. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing move. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard. The heart attack from the Heart Foundation. The rocker dropper from the Rockers. Or the doomsday device from the road. The team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. One. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action like in singles competition once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher that should signal the beginning of the end it can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher but i agree a team needs one and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent that's when a finishing move is truly effective and since we're talking about tag teams remember you and your partner happen to a referee's five count ah uh, classic oh no that's what he was looking for, Michael. He's got him covered. What is keeping this competitor going? Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. German suplex. But that's not all. Into a record lariat. What a combination. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Cover here. This guy just refuses to quit. Yeah, but he's hurt, guys. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Nakamura in off the tag. Here, guys. Oh, uh, no, 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 Back no. Suplex. Slam down hard. Oh. Look at this. between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If the team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. 
The two out of three falls match that saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback. He's looking at it. Powerbomb planet. We may be looking at our winner here, guys. The shoulders are down. Two. Jumping neck breaker. Ouch. He's calling for it. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. in the corner. Oh, nasty impact. Ooh, what impact. Here we go. Kinshasa. Just when you knock the ball, I might have it right here. Two. Three. What a tag team display. I can't remember a tag team match in recent memory that was even close to as good as that one was. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. Wow. I haven't seen a match like that in a long time. I might go home and watch a replay. It Here was that are good. your winners, Shinsuke Nakamura and Bree. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a very big win here tonight. No wonder these guys won. They work together like they've been teaming up since birth. I'd be curious to see how this win impacts the rest of the tag team division. I can't wait to see how the rest of the card shakes out here. Triple the fun with triple threat action next. We have a triple threat matchup coming up next. In a triple threat match, you cannot afford to wait. There should be plenty of action early.
Making her way to the ring from Osaka, Japan, the NXT Women's Champion, E.O. Shiro. Guys, we have triple threat action coming up as three of WWE's top superstars are set to square off. And Michael, I can realistically envision any one of these three competitors having their hand raised in victory here tonight. Here we go, guys, the triple threat match we've all been waiting for. And any time you get to see these superstars compete in the same ring at the same time is a real treat. Behold the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka! And from Osaka, Japan, Asuka! Asuka, absolutely incredible with what she has accomplished in such a short time here. Well on her way to becoming one of the best ever. An undefeated run in NXT. NXT Women's Champion. A title she relinquished willingly to head to Monday Night Raw. One of the most dominant female supers. Triple threat action underway now. The unpredictability of a triple threat match makes this almost impossible to predict. Any one of these three could walk out of here the winner.
He's starting to stagger a bit. He's got to be careful this doesn't turn into a two-on-one assault. Yeah, but I wouldn't count her out yet. Any one of these three women can win this match. Yeah, but I feel pretty confident in saying that she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. Shoulders on the mat. Digging deep for a kick out. Yeah, seem to be just testing the waters a bit there. Ooh, what a slap. Oh, oh, oh here we go. Nasty drop. Gotta be agonizing for the arm. Oh, and she gets out of the way. Oh, what a fall! That was dirty. Oh, man, what a strike! She's not looking good here, guys. Man, she's got to get herself together here. Oh, man! You gotta believe this one's over. What a stop! Good grief! Some superstars who have competed in a triple threat match feel it's a good idea to have both a finishing move that brings you to a pinfall attempt on your opponent and a submission move that can make your opponent tap out. Given the chaotic and unpredictable nature of a triple threat, that sounds like a good plan to me. When oh, she man. gets in attack mode, look out! She's beginning to take some heat here. I'd say her moves. There is no coming back from that one. Byron, before you mention the strategy some superstars have implemented for competing in a triple threat match, and that includes having a finishing maneuver to put someone away for the 1-2-3 and a submission to make them tap out. There are many superstars in WWE who can do just that, which makes them even more dangerous to opponents. The way I look at it is you can never have enough weapons at your disposal, especially in something like a triple threat match. If a superstar can defeat someone by pinfall and submission, to me, they increase their chances of victory in a match where the odds are against them to begin with. Spinning kick in the gut. No, she's too quick for her. She's looking at it. the back spine rattling I knew it was only a matter of time hooked him up and a suplex we've seen some unlikely alliances formed in these type of matches in the past it'll be interesting to see if we get more of the same here tonight Asuka continued to build her legacy when she laid claim to being the first ever winner of a women's Royal Rumble match, a night that encompassed the trail many women before her blazed. Long way down. Looks like she wants to win early. And she gets her shoulder up. That's too early for that. Reflecting on that Royal Rumble match, Michael, Asuka entered 25th and had to battle old rivals and some of the greatest women's champions of all time. In the end, she prevailed to punch her ticket to WrestleMania. Yeah, Asuka was always my pick. I predicted it since the match was announced. There was never any doubt. No one was ready for us. That's why you're the best ever, Corey. And oh. I think this is the beginning of the end. Get out of the way. She ain't playing. Nobody wants to face Asuka when she's rolling. Asuka with a kick downstairs. Not oh, sliding hip attack. That's called making a statement. Shoulders on the back. Oh, man, she's rolling now. She's not done yet. She came here to fight, not lay down. 
Head scissors applied. And, oh, look at this. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. That you feel foolish riding her off now. Talk about a painful move. Asuka did it. What a huge win. These women put on quite a show. Here's another look. That's a woman on a mission. Look at her go. She's taking care of business. She left it all in the ring, and I expected nothing less. Here is your winner, Asuka! Big win for her tonight. Simply put, she wanted it more than the other two did tonight. Well, it's going to be difficult to regroup after that amazing triple threat match. We'll see if the next match can equal that last one. Tag team match on the way. The Undisputed Era is here! Cole O'Reilly and Fish, the most elite superstars in the entire world. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Adam Cole, at a combined weight of 397 pounds, the World Tag Team Champion, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish, The Undisputed Era.
friends with Anderson and Gallows? I'd like to consider myself on good terms with them. Because they talk about you a lot. Oh, yeah? What do yeah. they say? They say, nerd! nerd! And their opponent, at a combined weight of 505 pounds, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. Anderson and Gallows, one of the all-time great tag teams around the world. Bonafide legends in the land of the rising sun. Anderson and Gallows, two of my favorite people to be around outside of the ring. Because inside, they're all business. I'd like to hang out with Anderson and Gallows outside of the ring. You would never be invited to brother softly with these two guys. I'd like to have abs like Anderson. Oh, yeah, me too. to shock the system and so far he's well on his way to reaching that goal doesn't get any better than this we're about to witness tag team action at its finest fellas part of the lawless outfit known as the undisputed era O'Reilly is set to wreak havoc yeah, sometimes you need to go outside the bounds of the rule to make noise Kyle O'Reilly knows that Drop down. What a close line! Ouch! He's not looking like himself here. Headed into this match, he and his partner look extremely confident. It's no secret that quick tags oh, lead to success in the tag team division. And I'd say the quicker he can make that tag here, the better their chances of winning will be. I'm not going to... And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Just a debilitating neck breaker. An opponent cannot allow Carl Anderson to control the tempo of the match. If you let that happen, Carl Anderson will systematically pick you apart until there's nothing left. will jar your spine. And he's starting to feel it here. Jeez. And you have to assume his partner is just itching to get in there right about now. When we talk about savvy veterans, Carl Anderson is always part of the conversation. To your point earlier, Corey, if Carl Anderson is able to control the pace and throw the match, his opponent is in for a long and painful night. If you're a WWE superstar going up against Carl Anderson, under no circumstance can you let Anderson control the pace of the match. You'll be in a whole new world of hurt. What a stop! Good grief! Carl Anderson sees the opportunity to go high. Wow! Elbow! He's struggling a bit here. His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to dwindle. If you told me heading into this match that he was going to absorb so much punishment, I would have called you a liar. Especially you, Saxton. But then again, I never believe anything that comes out of your mouth. Guys, I wasn't anticipating this type of performance for him tonight. He's starting to look a little lost in there right now. Look at him! Look, oh, that might have just broken something. Keep your eye on this one. Look at this. Yeah, no question. He's showing great energy as usual. Big spot. 
spine buster from the good brother himself. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Now, that's an impressive tag team victory. Let's look back on the action from the last match. Impressive victory for the team, especially Carl Anderson, who really helped put this one away. When you put these two together, victory is really the only plausible outcome. Folks, we just saw one of the most exciting matches you'll see anywhere. Catch your breath because the next match should be every bit as good. Don't go anywhere. Y2J! Making his way to the ring from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 227 pounds, Chris. Jericho! Jericho's done everything there is to do in WWE and beyond. Now he's a huge rock star touring the world with Fozzie. Is there anything Jericho can't do? Uh, I'm going to say absolutely not. I think Chris Jericho likes me. You know what happens, Byron, when you think Jericho likes you? Don't say it. You know what happens? Don't say it. Oh, this is going to be good. And his opponent, from Huntington Beach, California, weighing in at 282 pounds, Samoa Joe! Samoa Joe is a man who has never made an idle threat. One of the most dangerous competitors ever to step into the squared circle. If there is hostility, if there is tension to be had, Samoa Joe will be the first one in line. A lethal hybrid of size, speed, technique, and agility. Samoa Joe 
is second to none. And we're underway. Oof. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. The constant reinvention of Chris Jericho has been what's kept him one of WWE's most enduring superstars. Look, I get it. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to kiss up to Y2J, Saxton. But the fact is, your name's on the list of Jericho in permanent. I thought it was just a rumor. Jericho avoids the early pin. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. Kohina Clutch! Kohina Clutch! Kohina Clutch! This one's over, Byron. But did he go for it too early? You can't win a match if you can't get air into your lungs. It's that simple. him out. What a fool. He had him dead to rights. One, two, three. Yes! Takes it! Now let's take a look back at some of the great action. Well, that match wasn't anything to write home about, and I'm actually kind of embarrassed for the superstars who competed. Here is your winner, Samoa Joe! This was a much-needed win. That's a big win right there. Anytime you can pin another WWE competitor's shoulders to the mat for the three count, you should be proud. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us. What the? I don't think we're going to wait for the match to start. Incoming. He paid for that one. Oh, man. Big time. Uh-oh. I, I think I know what this superstar is going Give for. A, a muscle buster. The muscle, muscle buster. buster. This one's over, guys. Your whole body hurts after a move like that. And here's Samoa Joe speaking his mind. Another great matchup is now on tap. Singles action on tap right now.
making his way to the ring from Amarillo, Texas, weighing in at 200. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for one-on-one -on -one action. WCW and Michael, it sounds to me like this crowd champion, already picked the one who the they want to win this match. Icon, Terry Funky. As we ready for singles action, Byron, what can you tell us about these two competitors? Well, I can say that both of these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to prove their dominance here tonight. But as we all know, only one will walk away with their arm raised in victory. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. Not sure how much he has left. He's on the defensive here. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one on one atmosphere where he thrives. He seemed more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. He's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Beautiful senton. Great idea by him. Too bad it was awfully executed, though. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Look out! Oh, boy, he is rolling. He might have it. Just striking at will. But he's got to capitalize now. Here's the cover. I'm not sure if the referee didn't blow that call. Yeah, seemed to be just testing the waters a bit there. 
Here it comes. He's got him. Setting it up. Oh, brain buster. I can't believe it, Michael. He's going for it all. Look at this. Not so fast. And the elbow nailed it. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Look at this. What a stop. Good grief. Drop down. What a match! Look out! Two! Byron, he looks like he has no idea where he is. Yeah, he is definitely on Dream Street, Michael. Vicious knee. Oh, man! Oh, boy, he is rolling. He wants no part of the outside. Putting it all on the line. Whoa. We're seeing two outstanding athletes looking to prove their dominance in there. But only one can walk out victorious. Who will it be? It. Hard not to be impressed by that combination. He's not going to like this. Setting it up. Oh, brain buster. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Unbelievable. This singles match is over. No doubt it was a good one. Here's another look. This match wasn't exactly a barn burner, but we can't expect every superstar to be on their A game every time, I guess. I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys would take it to the next level. Regardless, nobody's asking for their money back. Here is your winner, Yosef Hero. A big singles victory here tonight. This win is exactly why so many superstars hope their number never gets called to face this guy. As we close the book on this match, I need to remind everybody just how big of a win this was. Simply amazing. The wait is finally over, folks, so strap in for the main event. Sit tight for singles action coming up next.
making his way to the ring from Brooklyn, New York, weighing in at 174 pounds, the WCW Cruiserweight Champion, the professional Loki. And despite the fact that the title is not on the line here, I still expect the champ to come out and fight his normal fight. I'm with you, Michael. He just likes to fight. It doesn't matter to him that the title is not on the line here. From Osaka, Japan, weighing in at 187 pounds, Tiger Matt. Get ready, guys. Big time singles matches coming up here. And I can assure you these two superstars have been waiting all day to get their hands on each other. No more talking behind each other's backs. Now they are face to face. And pretty soon, fist to fist. And it looks to me like this entire arena is on its feet, and understandably so. <laughs> Vertical suplex. Nice. Wisely bringing the action back into the ring. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a very big mistake. Mark my words. He's looking at it. Face plant. He's in control now. He's going for the pin. A kick out before three. Not yet. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. We've seen this before. And a pin attempt. Two, three. He's done it. That match is worth another look. Here we go. Got to be honest with you. I'm kind of glad that match is over. He comes out with a W, but it wasn't very pretty. Here is your winner, Tiger Matt. A very decisive victory here tonight. Few things are more rewarding than that feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. What a great night it's been. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.